QB5 is a tiny desktop that fits on the palm of your hand. It's perfect for office and other professional settings. It even takes care of general home entertainment. The QB5 can even be mounted to a monitor, making it a real space saver. The MP221 is a perfect choice for this with its fast amount support. And with the support of an extended power switch, there's no need to reach behind the monitor. Despite its tiny size, the QB5 still delivers top performance powered by Intel's 10th generation Core i7 processor. This means excellent processing power and a smooth desktop experience. MSI always strives for easy upgradability. On the QB5, the SSD and memory modules are seamlessly accessed through the bottom for upgrading. It's that simple. The QB5 is exceptionally silent. Even on the full load, it will still be the perfect choice for even libraries. This tiny desktop is rich in I.O. ports. It also supports dual monitors with its HDMI and DisplayPort connections, letting you multitask even more efficiently. This is the Inspire, a powerful desktop mini PC. We're going to manually install the M2 card. M2 cards are known for its small size and its speed. After installing one, you'll definitely feel the difference in performance of your computer. Before we begin, we recommend that you use some sort of grounding device, like the anti-static wrist strap we're using here, or a grounding mat. Okay, let's begin. First, we're gonna flip our device over and remove all four of the outer screws as shown here. Now our back plates are separated with ease. Now we're going to locate the position where our M2 card is going to go. Remove the screw that's shown here. This screw will hold the M2 card in place. Insert your M2 card into the slot. Now once you insert the M2 card, it's going to sit at a 45 degree angle. That's no problem. Simply push down gently. Now you're ready to reinsert your screw. This screw is only meant to secure the M2 card. That's it. Now we're going to apply our thermal pad. The thermal pad will be mounted on the back plate as shown here. The job of the thermal pad is to aid the device in keeping cool. Simply peel off the liner and apply as shown here. Finally, we're going to reattach our back cover to our device. Reinsert all four of your outer screws. Make sure they're nice and firm, but not too tight. That's it, we're all done. The PN60 is the latest generation of ultra-compact, lightweight mini PC from ASUS. For the more demanding user, this mini PC can be easily customized to the configuration you need. It measures 4.5 inches square by 1.9 inches tall, and weighs in at only 1.5 pounds. This PC's small size makes it ideal for keeping a tidy workstation or for mounting to the rear of a monitor. But don't mistake its small size for a lack of processing power or utility. This PC is equipped with an 8th generation Intel i3 processor, 4K ready Intel UHD Graphics 620, up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, full wireless connectivity with 802.11ac Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. These powerful internal components allow the mini PC to output up to 4K resolution to multiple displays through HDMI, mini DisplayPort and VGA. The PN60 is also easy to customize with expandable memory and storage. On the front, you'll find a single USB 2.0 port, dual USB 3.1 ports with one Type-C connection, 
and an audio jack. On the back panel, you'll find an HDMI port, a single USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C connection, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, gigabit LAN, and the DC power input. There's also the option for VGA, DisplayPort, COM port, HDMI, or LAN port on the rear panel. These port options make the PN60 compatible with legacy devices that drive your business, such as printers, barcode scanners, and digital signage.